I think 2022 was really exciting uh, in the front end and kind of this modern approach to full stack, uh, full stacking. We had a lot of frameworks uh, coming out. I think the biggest highlight would be Next.js 13 and the React server side uh, components and the RFC related to that. I am really excited about um, that. Uh, we had a um, few more um, new frameworks coming out. Uh, I really enjoyed reading about Quick and Solid, uh, mostly for the front end, obviously, but uh, they also have some full stack uh, opportunities that uh, might become even more uh, mature in the next year. So I will be keeping a lookout for those things. Having worked in this company, obviously, it's a privilege to work with people like Christian, who actually contributed to, to a book called uh, Software Architecture Metrics. And um, I think that's a really interesting read, or is going to be an interesting read for a couple of people, um, mostly because he wasn't the blown author, right? Uh, one big name amongst the many, you know, guys who contributed it was also Dave Farley, who I, you know, follow pretty religiously on Twitter and YouTube. So, yeah, I think that's, uh, yeah, that is for me the book of the year. Other than this, uh, I was getting into Rust lately, so Rust for Rust Science is another good read I would recommend. Mm, I think I'm part of like a generation that you know kind of came past after the let's say big names like Uncle Bob, uh, you know those kind of uh, giants of the industry from the real days. Obviously, I do read occasionally you know blog posts and follow them on Twitter. But uh, if I if I'm honest and you know on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm mostly following the younger guys who are kind of like uh, upcoming content creator creators, if that makes sense. To give an example, uh, to give two examples actually, who I really like uh, these days is uh, Tio from the T3 stack, who has like very strong opinions. And even if you don't agree with him wholeheartedly, it's a, uh, it's, it's a nice platform and a nice guy to, you know, listen to ideas and different ways how to do things. And the other one is Prime or the Primogen, who is also, he doesn't have as much of like a controversial opinions, but he is also a very experienced guy working for Netflix, I believe. And his takes on technologies is like really valuable and also very entertaining. To be honest, I never attended a conference in real life. Um, I do follow most of them online, but well, most of them, you know, that's pretty relative. One that stood out for me this year was uh, the uh, Next.js conference where, you know, they dropped the whole layout API and um, the whole Next.js 13 thing kind of kicked off. I think that was a, that was a very interesting one and I'm looking forward to forward what they can do next year. Other than this, I have a background in .NET, so I also kind of religiously follow the build conference. Year after year, they do something different and, you know, uh, expand the uh, number of topics they talk about. So, yeah, that was also one that I would recommend wholeheartedly. I think for me from this past year, the biggest takeaway uh, from work would be to really aim for simplicity over everything, right? I work on an enterprise environment, right? So the project I'm, I am working on is quite big and quite complicated. And it really became clear that, uh, you know, the more complicated architectural decisions you take, um, you know, it might be fancy and it might be, you know, the recommended approach. But if you have to onboard uh, like uh, new joiners to the team, if they don't have the experience with the 
product, then it really like uh, you know you pay its price. You pay the price for complexity in that sense. So yeah, I think for me the biggest thing would be to always aim for simplicity, especially because as of today, you know, you don't have to create microservices for everything. You have frameworks like Next.js where you can build a full stack application in TypeScript or JavaScript and you know that that's a really straightforward stack but it can rival with uh, more complicated solutions as well. One thing I'm looking forward how it progresses over the next few years is definitely going to be Rust. Um, recently this got uh, you know integrated into the Linux kernel. Meta is recommending it to like uh, new server side projects and this language is like very very different to like your C sharp, Java, Kotlin and those uh, high level languages. So I am really curious how far it can go and uh, the community around it is amazing. So I really hope it would take, a, take off and you know it would become more mainstream amongst the community.